Lee, tell us a little bit about why um, we're here today and what can the employees expect? I will. First, I want to tell you it's October 1st. We're on a fiscal year. So uh, our fiscal year ends September 30th. October 1st is our beginning of our new fiscal year. So this is like New Year's Day to us. So how fitting is it that we would welcome into our family uh, the team here at uh, Garden Park Medical Center, which will now be Singing River Gulfport. But what people can expect, I think, is uh, we are going to be looking for talented people with uh, strong work ethics and a good attitude and selfless type people to join the talented team here because we are going to grow. We're going to grow the services that we offer. We're going to take and have synergies between our existing facilities and services, whether it's cardiology, pulmonology, rheumatology, oncology, you name it, those and this facility and our other partners to the west, which I know you want to talk about in a minute. But I think what people can expect most is the same quality service. As we say quality is in our DNA and also they can expect a service. A level of service we serve with heart and soul and the culture here was such a natural fit I mean the facility is beautiful I mean 130 rooms 32 acres a beautiful day but the most important thing are the people the people that are here there are 400 new team members that I think are going to be seem to be very excited today to absolutely because teamwork always wins that's core value number six that's right so with that you know what can the community as far as these high quality services, what exactly are we going to enhance here at Teamwork for Gulfport? So I'm excited because we get to um, increase and grow surgical services here in Harrison County just like we did in Jackson County and continue to do. We're going to bring innovation to Harrison County through our robotics program. I'm very, very excited for that. We're also um, going to expand our A's across the Gulf Coast from Hancock County all the way to Pascagoula. And just, I think I'm really excited to be able to give the community of Harrison County access and options to really high quality healthcare. Absolutely, so Tiffany has been a champion for our system over the last couple of years, growing our surgical services, so it's no better fit for her to lead the team here in Gulfport. You know, we had um, some new marketing uh, campaigns go out today that you saw the auction logo on. Can you kind of explain what uh, auction part is? So yeah, we've gotten a lot of questions about that. Somebody asked me, is Ostrom buying us? No, they're not buying us. We entered into a strategic partnership agreement with them. Where we're gonna do things like uh, collaborate, focus on best practices, increase access to specialists, um, work on things that are innovative with respect to technology. Uh, that partnership is gonna involve co-branding throughout our system and particularly first right here, our badges now say Senior Health System in partnership with Oshner. So. Uh, they are very similar to us also. It's great when great teams like this can, can come together. But if I could sum it up, I would say that the biggest things Oshner brings to the table are uh, their level of commitment to clinical quality that is very similar to ours. They're, with their size and economy of scale, they are able to do things that are innovative that we as a small system would never be able to do. For example, um, their uh, intelligence in their ICUs, where they can predict a code before it even happens. Yes. It's amazing. They got a, you were talking about that earlier, the national award they got from Microsoft. 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 It doesn't get any better than that. Right, that's how people know, you know, especially in our region, that Oshner is one of the top leading in the nation for their technology advantages. Exactly. And so the technology is just uh, paramount. And then uh, the access to subspecialists that we might not have, whether it be something like neurosurgery or transplants. You know, we're not going to do heart transplants in South Mississippi. So having access to that high quality care for those higher level specialists is another component of the Oshner partnership. And it just fits. You know, we just worked together well with them and this was a logical step. And now with this facility added, it just puts us in a really, really good position to benefit the community. Right. Speaking of community, look out for Sherry Davis. She'll be out uh, hitting the ground running, getting involved in schools and specific um, things that she's already a part of here from being around um, Gulfport very often. And you know, just like you said, our mission is to improve health, save lives in our community, and we're so excited that Gulfport is now officially part of our community. We are, indeed. What somebody said yesterday, buckle up, buttercup. And stay Singing River strong.